Hey everyone, so got another great round of phone battles here featuring the best phones from HTC and Huawei. So we have the HTC U Ultra and the Huawei P10 Plus. Different setup obviously guys today. Uh, filming this outside on my family's deck. And gonna power both these on. So both of these phones, premium phones, brand new. Uh, rather, I guess HCU Ultra is a couple months old at this point, but still pretty new. And of course, high end specs for both. And you see the Huawei first one to boot up. So on Huawei P10 Plus, you have 6 uh, gigabytes RAM on the HTC 04. And you got the Snapdragon 821 on the HTC. And on the Huawei, you have the custom Huawei chipset 960. Alright guys, let's take a look at the design of the phones. So here's a good look at both screens in sunlight. Uh, you do got 100% brightness on both. Now, so you larger screen on the U Ultra 5.7 inches, 513 pixels per inch. On the Huawei 5.5 inches, 540 pixels per inch. Now, front piece and cam on U Ultra 60 megapixels on the Huawei it's 8. And then both phones frame with scanners right here at the bottom. So, ideal placement in my opinion. And then also on HTC, you have a second screen at the top here. So useful for things like notifications and quick settings. And then look at the bottom. So you got USB-C on both. Look at the side. Obviously, the HTC is bigger, um, but it does have the second screen. It's probably larger overall screen, main screen. And then look at the top and the other side. So one of the downsides of the U-Ultra is there's no headphone jack on it, the Huawei does. And then look at the back. So really getting premium material with both. On the U-Ultra you have an all glass back. And beautiful design, let me show you guys that in sunlight. Alright, so getting a little bit of sunlight now. And you notice it kind of changes colors in the sunlight. So again, all glass back, uh, and then rear facing camera is 12 megapixels. And then on the Huawei, so really nice material as well. You see I got the cool design, and two rear facing cameras, one's 20 megapixels, the other one's 12. Alright guys, so let's get started. Alright guys, so we're actually going to have to move this test inside because HTC is having connection issues as far out. Uh, I have tried several times reconnecting to the network. And just not working on HTC. Now for the HTC it says there's a port signal. A uh, port signal for the Huawei it says it's fair. But obviously here for the HTC it's not working at all. Uh, I mean occasionally I get some type of connection. But for the most part I don't. And just to show you guys. Um, yeah so obviously not working here for the HTC. Let's try one more. Let's try, let's try eBay. And I'll show you eBay on the Huawei. Alright guys, so clearly it is working out here on the Huawei, but not on HTC. Um, so a little bit disappointing, but I'll go ahead and bring the phones inside and we'll do a speed test there. Alright guys, so moving indoors, so we're close to the Wi-Fi network. Again, on HTC Ultra did not work outdoors too far away. But now we're good to go. So you see all the apps closed on both. And we're going to start off with Temple Run 2. So, so far guys, I have to say I've been pretty impressed with the Huawei chipset. Uh, previously, I mostly used Snapdragon chipsets, Apple chipsets, um, and this is the first phone I have with a custom uh, Huawei chipset. And as you guys see here, very impressive for loading up Temporon 2, easily beating the Snapdragon 821. Of course, also has an extra 2GB of RAM, 6 versus 4, but still, very easy win here. Let's check out some more, let's check out more basic apps. Alright, so next up we got NBC News. And again, we got the Huawei there. iFunny. I think that might be a good idea for a Wi Fi video, just testing out all the phones. And you guys saw there HTC, YouTube.
All right, so that was the wall weight. Calculator clock should be pretty similar. Wall weight for the clock, eBay. All right, so again, wall weight here for eBay. S48. Second game, again, testing out that chipset. All right, so another easy win here for the Huawei. So Huawei winning both the games. Uh, next up, we got photos. I think that may have been Huawei, let me know though. ESPN next. All right, so again, we got Huawei there. And then settings, and then we're gonna move on to Chrome, and then multitasking, uh, multitasking camera speed. And fingerprint scanner. All right, and to do. So and to do still giving more credit for the um, Snapdragon 21. So 156,000 for the HTC, 151,000 for the Huawei. All right, Chrome next. All right, let's go to a few sites. Let's go to Nintendo first. Nintendo.com. So yeah, pretty easy here for the Huawei. Let's do Zelda. Oops, sorry, I was messing one up. Uh, let's do Yahoo. Yahoo.com. Another easy win there for Huawei. Uh, let's do ABC and then NBC. abc.com all right so again we got Huawei there and last one was to NBC actually we'll do NBC and then we'll try clicking on the link see how it works out so NBC.com all right so this one uh, again I think that was the Huawei let's try clicking on a link Let's just click on something random like this. All right, and then let's try something else. And one last one. Oh, actually, I think this is, actually, let's do a better way of doing that. Let's do IGN.com. All right, so while we fully blowing this up first, and then, well, a lot of video here. I just want to click on a regular link. All right, we'll just click on this. All right, so again, Huawei there. Uh, I think pretty clearly the Huawei for the web browsing. Next up, let's do camera speed. And let me just flip this over. All right, so just snapping some pictures. And let me just put something in focus. Just gonna put this, you know, pretty boring, but just wanna put something there. All right, so it looks like the Huawei will be fast taking pictures. Also worth noting, it is more megapixels for the Huawei uh, 20 versus 12. So pretty impressive that it's able to snap pictures faster. All right, let's do fingerprint scanner, and then we'll do multitasking. So both fingerprint scanners in an ideal place right here. All right, so pretty clear who the winner is. Although guys, HC Ultra is still much better than most phones and fingerprint scanners, just because of the location. Obviously with the Huawei, it's instant. So very hard to compete with that. All right, and last we're doing web browsing. And let me just go over more to specs. So again, on the U Ultra, you have the second screen at the top. 
uh, two screens, the main one 5.7 inches, 513 pixels per inch. On Huawei, 5.5 inches, 540 pixels per inch. On UUltra front facing camera, 12 megapixels, or rather on UUltra front facing camera of 16 megapixels. On the Huawei front facing of 8. Rear facing on UUltra 12 megapixels, on the Huawei you have 2. Uh, one is 20, one is 12. There's original storage, both either 64, 120 gigabytes, and both do micro SD card support. Now, Huawei battery definitely better. You have 3750 capacity versus 3000 for the UUltra. Again, UUltra Snapdragon 21, 4 gigabytes of RAM. On Huawei, you have the custom 9, chi uh, 9.6 chipset and 6 gigabytes of RAM. Neither phone is waterproof, both fingerprint scanners, both USB C at the bottom, and on the UUltra, uh, no headphone jack. Alright, so here we go. We got Temple Run 2 first. Alright, so very impressive for both, did not reload, very good sign. Next up, what's the NBC News? I think that may have been HTC, it looked like Huawei was kind of reloading it. Alright, iPhone next. Alright, YouTube. Alright, so that was clearly the Huawei there. And we'll just do a few more and we'll wrap it up. It's eBay next. So while we're there, I have to have it. I keep pressing the back button on it. Um, we'll do we'll do three more with Ash Forty Eight. All right. So good sign on both. Neither one we voted. Uh, while we did vote that first, but I have to say, so far extremely impressed with both phones and multitasking. Definitely the top. Uh, well, I'm going to say they're number one and two overall, but definitely I think in the top five, maybe even higher. Let's do Chrome next. So, very minor edge there for the Huawei. And last one was the camera. So, here's a good way of testing out the camera. As you guys saw, we started right there uh, with that angle where we were holding up like this. But now the screen should go black, so let's see how that works out. All right, so both. Pretty maybe we went back. I think HTC first one load that up. Um, so yeah, I think multitasking kind of split. Now overall, I'll give it to Huawei because I think it did win more. Uh, won the fingerprint scanner, won the internet browsing. I think multitasking apps kind of split. Maybe it's right to the Huawei, but pretty close. And then on U Ultra did win into the benchmark test. Um, so overall, pretty close, but uh, I think it does go to the Huawei. All right, everyone. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. And you can do that by clicking right there. Or you can watch another video by clicking right there. Alright everyone, thanks again for watching.